Hey guys, my name is Brittany and welcome to my channel. Today I ended up doing an unexpected, really bright neon look inspired by Valentine's Day. Um, this definitely isn't something that I would wear on Valentine's Day. It's just inspired by Valentine's Day as a whole, just the holiday. And I think it's kind of fun to do stuff that's different. I'll have a look on my Instagram that I would definitely wear for Valentine's Day. If you want to check out my Instagram, it's Brittany underscore Kelso underscore. And is underscore the right word? But I will write it down below. So yeah, so this is definitely unexpected. This was not where I was going with this look at all, as you will find out as you continue to watch. But the more I look at it, the more I dig it. So if you're interested in this, please keep on watching. Okay, so I have my hair back. I have my cute little headband on. I want to preface this by saying I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. And I'm cheating just the teeniest bit because I'm using some products that I got in my haul that I'm going to do a video on. So just pretend that these products are in the haul. Can you just appreciate my brow day? I have such a problem with brows. I'm going in with the NYX Hydro Touch. I have such a problem with my brows because not only are they really light, like I said in my last video, but they also aren't shaped the same. Um, so I have to work really hard when I'm doing them to get them to look similar. And like, you know, people say, oh, your brows can be sisters, they don't have to be twins. Mine aren't twins, they aren't sisters. I don't even think they're friends. I don't even think they're acquaintances. I think they're enemies. They are completely different and it's so annoying. So when I get them to look like flaky, it's a really freaking good day. I'm using my Tardis, Tardis palette for the mirror because of the little camera. It's freaking amazing. It's huge and I just really enjoyed using it yesterday when I was doing my makeup because that was something I was like, how am I going to do it when I don't have my nice makeup mirror in front of me? That's good. So I'm going to use my Kat Von D foundation again. And then I'm also going to use my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. And if you want a cheaper option, use the NYX um, Control Drops. I don't know exactly what the title is called. But it's their brand new foundation that they just came out with. And it's, it's really, really similar to this one. Just saying. So I put on two drops of my um, Josie Marin. And now I'm just going to go in with my Morphe G31 brush. I think there might be something that is good for dry skin and that you want to know if it works well and you want me to try it, I will try it because I'm always looking for an excuse to buy new makeup, which is bad. Now I'm going to go in with concealer. And I'm going to do something a little bit different today. And this is my Kat Von D Lock It, Lock it Concealer in Whiteout. I actually really like this because I'm so pale. And I feel like no matter what concealer I get, it doesn't feel light enough to me. But I'm not going to go too crazy with it because it's super, super thick. Which makes it hard to blend out really nicely. So now I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the lightest shade, 15, which is fair. Hello. And I'm just going to, I'm looking at my mirror down here at the desk and trying to keep her from eating my makeup. She's looking like an Anastasia palette. Oh so now that that's on, oops, I forgot to do my nose. I'm going to, what am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to set it. And I'm going to use one of my marker brushes instead of my blender because I want to brush it away. I don't want to sink it in. This is my Morphe E53 brush and what am I doing? Like, look at it! <laughs> Isn't it awesome? I love it. It's got a cool little angle at the top and it is so 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 soft. Oh, It's so nice. I like using this for my under eyes because I can just pat it on without caking it on because I, I want this to kind of be like a light base day. I don't want it to be too too intense. So I like going in with a light hand when it comes to powder, just enough to set it, but not enough to make it look crazy. That was my Ben Nye um, Luxury Powder in 
cameo. I wanted to try my e.l.f. brow powder because Jordi from It's Likely Makeup is her YouTube name said that a lot of her subscribers were telling her that it worked really, really well. Like it was a nice, um, cool toned color for a contour, but I can't find mine. But if you guys are on a budget and you want, and you're really pale and you want something cool toned to contour with, check out the um, Elf Brow Duo in the lightest shade because it's a very taupey brown color and it would work really well. And I wish I could find it because it's so hard for me to find something that's not too warm to contour my face with. So I'm going to use the Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer from Too Faced. And I'm just going to use that to, oh, that's really dark. Do you see my issue? So this isn't going as well as I wanted it to. It's kind of looking patchy. I really wish I could find my health. Um, brow thing. So now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. complexion brush and my Dandelion Benefit um, blush. Looks like this. I got the mini one because I didn't know if it was going to be too big for me, which it might be. It's not really my style, but I thought it would look good for this look. It smells really good too. I like stuff that's not as like baby pink and a little bit more dark, I guess. I don't know. I like darker blushes and then just putting it on um, really lightly. I want it to be very, very blushy. Blushed out, I don't know. And then I'm gonna use my Pixi Glow Mist before I put on my highlight. I also don't know where my lip liner is and I only have one that I really like, which is bad. So I'm just not gonna use one. Cause I'm not going anywhere today, so I don't really care. I'm using my Becca Highlight in Moonstone and just a fan brush after I applied that mist. And I'm just going to put it everywhere basically because I want this to be super glowy. And I might even go in with another highlight after I decided. If you guys are looking for a really light highlight, you can use the Essence highlight. You can get it on Ulta. And it's very, very subtle. I think I'm going to put the other one on. No, I'm not going to put the other one on because I want to show you the veneer or shadow in here. That is so, so pretty. I want to put it on my lid and I want to show you guys how it looks as a highlight too. And I just use my finger for that. So I just dab it in and I'm going to put it on the tip of my nose. Can you see that? I've done this a few times. Oh my god, gosh, it's so pretty. So I'm going to go in with tem tempera, tempera. I don't know, who knows. I'm just going to say it however I feel like saying it. Because, I don't know. I'm going with my Morphe. M200 brush, which is my favorite brush. I'm going to go in with Warm Taupe. And I'm just going to put it in the crease. So that's what it looks like. I'm using it even more because I didn't realize I hadn't seen it Now I'm going to go in with Bon Fresco, which is a little bit of a purple toned shadow. Just gives it the tiniest bit of purple. Just a little bit more purple than before. That's it. And then I'm going in with Love Letter, which is the pinkest shade. And I'll probably just use the Venetian Red, which is the darker pink shade. It has a little bit of red in it, just to kind of darken it up afterwards. So first I'm going to go in with Love Letter. Just make sure you really, really blend when you're using bright colors like this, because you don't want it to look crazy. And I want to keep the color focused on the outer corner. I don't want to drag it into the inner corner because I'm going to put um, the Vermeer that I used as a highlight topper. I'm going to use that on the actual eye itself. So you can see it's like a smoky pink. And like I said, I'm going to go in with Venetian Red, which it's called a red, but to me it has a lot of pink in it, so I'm gonna use it in the very, very outer corner just to 
darken up the look. And that's it. And then I'm going to take a clean brush. I'm going to use this brush that's just called a Duo Fiber Blending Brush. I think it's from Sam's Club. It's the same one as my fan brush, or Sam brand, whatever it may be. And I'm just going to blend all of those together. And I kind of want it to be more pink. So I'm going to go back in with Love Letter. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I might just clean up the edges a little bit with just the teeniest bit of concealer. Just put concealer on the corners and then take a beauty blender and just kind of pat it in. And then I will take a beauty, beauty blender with some powder just to really set that area. And now I'm going to take, I'm going to use my finger because I just think that's the easiest way to put on shiny shadows. I don't know. Actually, ooh, I'm going to use my white milk jumbo pencil from NYX. 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 And I'm going to put that on my lid. I'm going with more shadow after. That's fun. bit pink on here. Oops. So now I'm going to go in with the mirror. I'm going to use my finger. And I'm just going to put it where I put that jumbo pencil. Wow, I almost hate that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I put on too much of the pencil. But it feels kind of cakey. So. And I feel like it took away some of the shimmer. I don't know if I really like that. So I'm going to fix it by going in with a little bit of Bon Fresco. What's on my nose? So remember everyone, you're going to have good makeup days and you're going to have bad makeup days. But really, like Tim Gunn would say, just got to make it work. Right so, I'm going to do some white liquid liner off camera because, you know, I'm going to do my liquid liner and my falsies off camera because they take me forever and I have to cut them, I have to wait for the glue to dry, etc, etc, and I don't want this to be super long. So I'm going to turn off my camera and I will be back with that done and we will finish with lips and my lower lash liner. Hey guys, so I'm back and I did a little bit of white liner and... I'm really, really str struggling with these lashes, and I actually don't even know if I like them. They're the Ardell Wispies number 600, and I guess I didn't really think about it, but with the white liner, they're so separated. They look kind of funky, and they refuse to stick to my eye, so I haven't even put mascara on yet. So I'm just going to do my bottom lash line while I wait for that to stop being irritating. I'm just going to take up Love Letter and really, really, really tap it off. Blow it off. And I'm going to go into my lower lash line and just smudge the pink. I'm going to take Vermeer and put it in my inner corner with my finger. Kind of just brush it under my brow bone being super perfect about it or anything. I'm still afraid to do my upper... Mm, you know what, I'm just gonna do it and if it sucks, I'll rip them off. Whatever. And then I'm gonna take the Milk Jumbo Pencil and put it on my waterline. overline them a little bit to make them look pouty. And also this color is amazing and I want it to really stand out. This isn't really what I thought it was going to look like. This is not what I thought it was going to be. I mean, I know it looks bright in the tube. 
just didn't think it was going to turn out as neon. So I have the Urban... So I have the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I think I might put some of the super pink color on my eyes to try to even out the lips, but I don't know if that's going to make it worse or better, so we're going to see. This palette is really awesome. It has an amazing mirror. And I'm going to use this pink color that doesn't... Oh, it's called Savage. Like I mentioned in my first video, I'm just trying to do something different and just different things in general just because I feel like that's what's interesting and I, I personally like watching other people do things that aren't really expected. So, I think that's where I'm going to stop. I'm just going to try to fix my lashes. I'm going to do my hair and I'll show you guys the completed look here. I'm just going to zoom you out. So I went and I did my hair. So it's got a lot of pink. It's a lot more bright than I had anticipated. But I, the more I look at it, the more I like it because this is something that I don't norm, don't normally do. And I did want to kind of just like step out of my comfort zone and try something different. So I'm kind of proud of myself. So I'm just going to talk about a few of the things that I used in a sort of first impression style because I just feel like I have some things to say. I'm just going to spray my so these are Dell Wispies. I think the package is 600. I love Ardell lashes because you can get them for about 3.99 each, I believe. At least I think that's what I got these for on Ulta. I love them. I think they're affordable. Um, I think they're pretty easy to apply. They're, I don't know. I just, they're really nice. I just don't like these, and I think it might just be the style. I think this might just not be my cup of tea. I mean, they're just very separated. These are dramatic in a different sort of way. <laughs> and I'm just not used to them, I think. Um, I don't know if I'll actually be using them again. I do kind of like to try to clean off my lashes and reuse them. I don't know if I'm going to keep them. I actually got this a few months ago, and I've never had the chance to use it because it's got a lot of bright electric colors. And I don't know, I just really need an occasion to use it. And I just fell in love with this pink color. I think it completely fixed the weird look that I had going on and definitely helped. I am so excited to use this blue right here. And I also want to use this green and then this teal. Those are the ones I'm most excited about. And I do have some stuff in my haul like some different looks that I had in mind when I bought some of the products that I think this might help me create a cool look with them. Moving on to the lip color. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. And I think that's because I had to put on so many different layers to make it really um, look good. So as you can see, it looks really nice right now. It's a luster matte, and I actually have this one in the shade Rose Luster. And I love rose luster. It's so beautiful and I love this formula because it feels so creamy. Like you can slip your lips together. It feels so good. And it isn't shiny. It's not like a gloss. So I think that's super nice. I love, love, love the formula. I think these are 100% worth it and honestly I think I'm going to go online and buy one in every color because I love the formula. I just think this one's a teeny bit patchy and I did have to build it up in order to get one solid color. Next, I use the white liquid liner for the first time and I definitely like it. It looks really, really nice. I did have a few spots that were layering better than the others so I had to go over a few times to fix it but I think that's okay. I love the applicator. I don't know if I showed you guys. It's super thin. You can easily, well that looks really messy. You can easily get a nice thin line if you just use the tip. So I think that is super nice and I got that one like I said in a couple different colors. Um, look at that. It got like 
really messy. Um, so I'm gonna have to clean that off. I liked it for my waterline. I think it's a little bit big. It was kind of hard to put on. As you can see, got mascara all over it. Um, so that was kind of difficult to work with, but I did need a white waterline liner. So I really enjoy this. I think it's worth the price. I think it's something that everyone should just kind of have in their makeup collection. So that's all I have to say. And if you like this video, let me see what else you can see. So if you like this video and you like this look and the fact that it's a little bit different than you know your everyday looks, then please let me know. I would like to know what you guys think about it. Um, this is something that I wanted to kind of try, something different. And I think it's super fun. I want to keep trying different things, but if you guys would prefer to see something more wearable, then please let me know. And if you like it, like I said, give it a thumbs up. If you really want me to keep doing stuff like this, then please comment and also please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!